Hey everyone and welcome to the new Let's Play on the channel. Welcome to the Osterreich or Phoenix Rising uh, or something like that the mod is called. And it's basically, what if Austro-Hungary never fell? What if it made it through to 1936? And that's exactly what we're doing today. Um, to get things off started quickly, I got everything sorted. So I've got all my remaining units sorted into a batch. Um, I had some lined up against Germany, some lined up against Italy. Uh, I set the construction orders all set. I've got the research working. All I didn't choose was a national focus. And we're going to do that right now. So what we're going to do, straight off the bat and do the policy of I can't do because the elections weren't held uh, and France, France the second isn't dead. God damn. Okay, right. So this is all boosting the inner nation, which is lovely bonuses, actually. It's a lovely looking tree as well. I've got to give the, give the guys that as well. Uh, coronation, right, right extract, France the second is dead, so I can't touch that either. Uh, army training, I can, but, uh, huh. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so I can't touch that, that's fine. Uh, start state reforms, elections were held. Elections still haven't been held, so I genuinely can't do anything. Right, so what we're going to do, we're literally just going to start building up the nation as per usual. Uh, just start going infrastructure-based stuff, that's fine. No, no real issue there. Um, but yeah, this is the basic premises of the of the mod. Uh, what do you guys start with? 35. I could potentially take out Germany, but I can't because I'm non-aligned. Good old monarchy is, of course, non-aligned. So the question is, do we choose uh, an ideology? What do we do? What, what should we do? I don't know what. Um, staunch monarchist, boost the non-aligned. So I could do that. For fascist, go fascist, declare a few wars, lap back to non-aligned ideology, and just sort of have fun, chill out. I could do that. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go, we're gonna get Artis says Inquart involved, and uh, we're gonna have him as our fascist demagogue. Um, speaking of which, I'm gonna have to wait a fair bit because of that, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, so what's the what's the slabs slabs for the emperor obsolete cabinet ministers and Australian industrialization industrialization sorry so oh okay so we've even got anything so Putsch, Austro Daimler Rhineland Skoda STT Guns Danubius uh, Franz the second is dead in the last in the last days the emperor became very ill uh, his heart riveted him to bed and a couple of days later he passed away only now it was announced to the people. Rest in peace, peace for, uh, rest in peace, France. Carl I becomes the leader of all parties. Really? You know what? I'm going fascist then. <laughs> if Carl's going to be the leader, Carl I looks exactly the same as his dad. Spanish Civil War. Okay, there we go. Hey, look at that handsome little devil. Carl the First is looking sexy as can be. Austrian industrialization. Park elections weren't held still. Really? How does? How does? Yes, right strats. Yes, yes. Do this. Hold the hold, hold the elections. I need Poland. Let me eat Poland. I want to eat Poland before Germany and Soviets do. So they've got fifty nine. So they're gonna outnumber me. The Polish are gonna outnumber me. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. See, I could potentially just do the Germans right here, right now, become the ultimate German and just take over everything. But I'm not aligned. That is my issue. Electrical mechanical. Okay, that's fine. Go straight onto radio. Boom. Beautiful. Absolutely whizzing for everything. Uh, 43, 42. That's fine. They'll be up next. Right strat done. Emperor Carl I, after a long discussion in Parliament, gave the go ahead for the holding new elections to the right strat. Such parties as the FP, DB, OFP, and the CS have already announced their participation in subsequent ele uh, elections. We hope for a quiet and fair elections. Yes. Right, straight up. Coronation of Charles I. I can't do that. Right. Elections were, elections were held. They have been held. Oh, God damn it. So I need to choose a thing. Right. Okay. You know what? God damn it. I'm going to have to completely blitz through this, aren't I? Right. Okay. Uh, early mobilization. Get that done. Speed up the factories a little bit. Beautiful. Good. They're starting to speed up quite a fair bit. That's what I like to see. How are we doing on research? Coronation on Charles. Cor coronation of uh, Char uh, Charles. Really? Carl the first. After the death of France II, Charles was crowned in Austria as Karl I. Okay. The people took this news with caution, but it's already gaining popularity. Nobody knows what views the new emperor likes. He began to travel around cities of his state here with. He visited Budapest, where he met with very popular Hungarian Admiral M M Miklos Horthy. What would this mean for Austria? Coronation of Charles. Today in Vienna, there was a solemn ceremony in the coronation of the new emperor of, Karl, of Austria, Karl I. 
He is a legitimate heir of the deceased Francis II. Carl's already promised in the shortest time to carry out necessary social reforms. Glory to the Emperor. Yes. Speaking of glory to the Emperor. Fac Fackle Zouge. We'll go Fackle Zouge. We're going communist. Yes. <laughs> no, communist, no fascist. Oh, God. So it's going to take 70 days to do that. That's fine. We'll whisper it in no time. Italy took Ethiopia. If I can, I'm just going to take Italy out straight. Just, just get Italy done straight off the bat. Uh, aircraft. That's the thing I need to do. Aircraft. Um, right. So, interwar bomber. Attack aircraft. There we go. Again, it's not much, but it's what it is. You guys move here. And then just hammer Italy. That's fine. Superb. Okay, so... 10 days. This is super. We'll whiz through this. This mod's actually got a lot of potential. I like the fact that you can just play as Austria. It's just the mighty Austro-Hungaria Empire. Um, modify government again. I'm going to go uh, industrial concern with Strabag. There we go. Uh, basic machine tools and that. So we're going to immediately go. No, that's way too much. Wow, that's way too forward, actually. Uh, Marines. I don't need Marines. I need... Th yes, I need this. Wow. Wow. We haven't done this yet. Really? Wow. Okay, we'll get them two done. That's that's definitely a, a, a yes now need to do that. The fact that we hadn't done that to this point is ridiculous. Okay. So 36 days for that. Essentially the same for that. Beautiful. Right. Uh, I think it's best that we start to draw up plans for Poland. Um, yes. Just straight across like that, really. Uh, I'll have you guys do the same. However, I only want you to be in this small... No, I don't want you against Germany. We're not declaring war on Germany just yet. There we go. I want you guys to come like that. But I want you to focus on all of that and then come down. That way your thing's a lot narrower. Enables you to... No division. Okay, no divisions it is. Great. Um, oh, I see. Because we're still messing around there. That's why. Right, let's try this again then. Uh, 20 divisions all locked up here on the border. Coming across to like that. The Bakal Zouj, Biden Budapest. Every Austrian city on torch pro uh, procession was held. In response to this, on the same day, there were Hungarian rallies in Budapest. About 100 Germans from the Austrian uh, Freikorps staged, uh, uh, staged a fight in the center of the city with a large number of Hungarians. Surprisingly, the Germans beat the Hungarians. Declare our support for the Germans. We immediately stop the scuffle. Yeah, exactly. Stop the bloody scuffle. Stop being idiots. God damn. Right, okay. And then lap it around like that. Super. So you'll be able to blitz through that. Uh, straight off the bat, we're going to be going for Captain of Industry. Beautiful. You're going to go here. Announce the results. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. How, how many days is that going to take? 21 days. Literally nothing. Literally next to no days. Incredible. There we go. Construction one. Straight down to improve machine tools. 86 days. Nothing at all. This will be done and then we'll start claiming on Poland. I think that'll be fine. It's a shame though because this thing is still here. Demilitarized zone. Yeah. That's going to be a pain when we launch the offensive, but it's fine. We'll, we, I suppose, we'll, we'll, it's one of those things we'll just have to work around. Uh, it's, it's not exactly a drastic, oh my god, sort of thing, but it's not perfect. Election results, Osterreich, Fascist is now leading. Yes, OFP becomes the leading. Wow, our flag looks sexy as ever. <laughs> uh, now quickly come over. Policy of revanchism, get down that. Beautiful. Carl, baby. Oh, baby. Baby, your flag is sick. It actually looks like Salzburg flag, funnily enough. Um, but, yeah. Carl, you beautiful, handsome devil, you. Leader purchase in the Soviet Union. Awesome. Uh, I should actually start recruiting a few troops. So, since this is all mountain that we're coming over, give me four of you and I'll send you there. There you go. Top priority. Boom. Done. I'll have you guys done and I'll send you straight into uh, the army, second army. Um, and then I think that should be good. Because we're gonna, and then I'm going to have you mountain guys come here by Munich when we do Germany. Uh, speaking of Germany, how many are they rocking? 50, 27 to 53. 22 to 53. 44. Okay. So now would probably be the time to do Germany, to be fair. Although they've got all their motorized stuff. They'll do us in like there's no tomorrow. Actually, being completely honest there. Yeah. No. Uh, we don't want our asses handed to us just yet. Uh, let's try and avoid that as much as possible. Uh, radio detection. Let's get that done. Super. Right. Fast forward these out. Come on. We haven't got time. We haven't got time to keep messing around. How many days that's done? Okay. Another 20. 25. 25 days. That's not too bad. 
Uh, Slash the Emperor. Obsolete Cabinet Ministers. Yeah, that kind of needs to get rid of. Um, now I can do War Economy at 150, which would be lovely. Um, but I kind of also want to go with... Um, Chief of Army. Old Guard. Uh, division Training Time. Political Power Game. Arm Experience Game. Well, it would probably be better to do you, wouldn't it? Joseph Ferdinand? So that gives me arm experience gain minus 10%, but put a little bit of power, which is no thank you. Reformer, arm experience gain plus 10%. I mean, I suppose, nah, it's okay. But then we got this guy that speeds up everything. Right, I'm going to move this to Y. No, I need... Ah, God damn it. Okay, right, we'll just do this instead. Casimir von Lut Lutkendorf. Yes, we'll take you. Most of my units are um, infantry anyway, so that's good. Uh... No, it's not in a faction. The Austrian delegation, the Bozen Agreement. What does this do? We settle our, uh, all our disputes with the Italians and they withdrew their claims to turn. Now it's time to sign a sacred union against our common enemies. We have emerged in our lands for centuries. Completely the pro-Italian fascists. Okay. Uh, Living with Ukraine policies. What? Am I, am I losing the plot here? Like, am I genuinely going insane right now? Oh, is, is there something that I haven't done? Like, Okay, uh, is, is, no, that's democratic. These are both, that's not aligned. Okay, um, right. Oh, I see at the bottom. Okay, that's fine. All uh, right, uh, appoint Dol 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 Dolphus as premier. It's time for Austria to think about its own nation, not about Slavs or Hunger. Dolphus will help us. Okay, I'm hoping that doesn't replace Carl, though. I want Carl to stay in charge. Uh, improve, there we go. Uh, go straight down the line of dispersed industry. Yes, please. 57 days, these guys will be done, so that's fine. Uh, it's, you guys can be forced out now. That's superb. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to expand south. Justify, conquer. We'll do that. Pull out of Poland. Poland is not a, a priority right now. Um, you know what? You guys line up against Italy. You guys are already sorted. You, you guys are set, ready to go. Um, so you guys literally just come to Serbia. We'll think about moving uh, south into the Balkans, securing what Austria technically wanted to actually control anyway, uh, which all caused the First World War. Uh, speaking factions... Okay, so France still hasn't joined, so that's good for us. It means it gives us a chance to secure the Balkans before anyone else. Uh, Italy, are you growing troop-wise? Or Okay, your navy's going to become a pain in the rear. But I think it's something we can deal with. Um... You guys join here. Yeah, there we go. Everyone just line up on the border here. There we go. Super. And you're going to move across as well. Beautiful. Right. Get uh, get training. So on the 28th of March next year, we should be going to war with Serbia, claiming the Southern Balkans. And I think next up would be Romania uh, before the fascists get in control there. Obviously, we're going to need a lot of mountain regiments uh, to, to get control of that. Turkey. I'd like to go all the way down to Turkey as well, but that's like a big, 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 big ambition. Um, it's a very, very all over the place. And I'm kind of bummed there's no music playing. There's literally no music playing. Oh, okay. Carl I speaks against Kingdom of Serbia. Does the Kingdom of... Uh, yeah, future belongs to thingy. Yeah, I thought it was a special event. My bad. It's literally just a normal. Normal, normal, normal event. Um, come here, actually. Yeah, do the Western Balkans. There we go. Secure that for us. Okay, so reinforcements, put them on the max. Uh, five days, five days, that's fine, we can do that. Uh, new just in, logist, ooh, 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 ooh. Regrouping, recovery rate, attrition. I think I'm going to go with uh, logistics and artillery, or entrenchment, ooh. Ooh. I'm going to go with, yeah, go with, go with attrition and... Uh, and then probably artillery, if I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like that's going to be a good shout. Um, that's too far ahead. Signal company, logistics company, get them done. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I think after I've gone down to... Ooh, okay. You know, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to, so I want to see whether or not it's going to um, change my leader. I point off as a premier. Bring that up, bring that up. No, okay, so good. Establish this. Establish the Heim Heimwehr. What's the Heimwehr? Hungary should be a base of the Austrian army if we merge Austrian fire corps. And... Okay. Okay, so these are going to be like super new uh, units. So we're going to have new units. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, how are we doing in work? Construction. Okay, construction is looking good. 
Construction could be doing a lot better, but it is, overall, it's looking good. It's not, it's not looking too bad. Uh, what are you guys rocking in regards to Air Force and Navy? Right, we can destroy your Navy with Nicholas Horthy. Yes, yes. The best leader from base game. Come to the Adriatic. Search and destroy. God damn. <laughs> right, so December, so it was March, wasn't it? 28th of March. Beautiful. Okay, so you guys are nearly all sorted. Just wait for it, just wait for it. Be patient and... Boom. There we go. Super. How about you guys? Yeah, you're still in the need to sort yourself out. That's fine. You guys are looking like you might struggle. Austria. Oh, urgent news. We were informed that the Hungarian aristocracy is preparing uprising against the Austrian authorities. Now they're negotiating with the Hungarian officers. Austria must strike a preventive blow against the rebels. It cannot be the Hung Hungarians have always been loyal to us. Oh. See, if I do that, it's going to send me into minus, and it's going to take me so long to do it. Um, oh, this is a very, this is a tough one because if I say no, then it could rise, and we'll be in a bit of a civil war situation. We'll do no. We'll trust them. We'll trust them. Probably not the right decision, but we'll trust them for now. Uh, how are we doing here? Mechanical computing? No, uh, no, no. Yes, construction too. Let's get that done. 60 days for that. Super. You guys are going to be done in 30 days. Beautiful. Okay, a couple months and we'll be striking. Super. Rally behind the course. Yes, yes, yes. The only problem is that they've got tanks and we haven't. Like, we, I'm going to need to research a few tanks in a minute. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's definitely going to have to be something that we're going to have to do. It's not ideal by any means, but we're going to have to do it. We're going to need tanks. We can't declare war on no one if we haven't got tanks. Simple. Um, what's our German friends doing? They're all doing sort of industrial stuff. Which is fair enough. I mean, as long as they haven't gone down any of this and just want to start kicking the hell out of Poland, then I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. Um, speaking of being good and happy, how are you? 59? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um... Start state reforms. What's this? Hungarian compromise. Modify slash ever. Help Hungarian Austria. Okay. The war with the Hungarian nationalism. Okay. And then liquidation of the Hungarian state. Lvov question. Uprising in Lviv. Return the state of Galicia. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that though? Unemployment measures. Production growth. Economic. Oh, wow. Eliminate trade. Wow. This tree is incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bonuses are phenomenal. Uh, start your own division. Start your own division. I'm going to put you under this guy just because I can't pronounce his name. Or this guy. Uh, Planning to speed combat with. You're going to Wojtek Lutza. We're going to Wojtek Lutza. Uh, so here with the Himver division. Uh, have we got Himver division? We've got the Himver. What is it made up of? Just super soldiers. Is that it? All right. Well, Himver division. Future belongs to the Austrian Empire. Yes, it does. Uh, we've already got five. So I'm going to need 19 of you. Right, give me 19, put them all in Budapest. Uh, one only, high priority, super. Right, next next thing, I'm going to have to change that and I'm going to go straight to uh, extensive, or oh, limited. Yeah, we'll go limited and then extensive. Um, I think we, just, we need manpower. We desperately need manpower. Um, right, okay, so the 28th of this month, we should be going to war with these guys. They're going to be putting up quite a fight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull these guys here out of Italy. Bring them down here to the border just to help out. It's happened again. There we go. That's better. Right. Come here and help out. Good. That's what I need. Right. You guys are nearly at a good standard. Hopefully by the time you get there and it's time for war, everyone's all trained. Dispersed industries done. Beautiful. Can we go down a peg? Yes, we can. Dispersed industry two. Uh, come back to the troop tab. Oh, come on. I need you. I, I, I need you to be prepped and ready to help out. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, please. Yes, 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 yes. If it gets to six and still nothing. Seven. Oh, I can't risk it. Most of the divisions are fine. That's good. Justification of war. There we go. Declare war. Boom. Right. I want you guys to be on normal. That's fine. Good. Okay. You guys need to buck up because you're going to be helping with the defense of everything. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Now you get involved. Get angry. Get aggressive. That's what I want to see. Boom. Push, 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 push. Help with the push. Now you guys go aggressive. Good, good, good. There we go. 
Right, so that's Serbia dealt with. Uh, it's probably going to be wise to wait before declaring another war. Um, but it seems that Serbia's been finished. Uh, Belgrade is now just done, dead, spy. Kingdom of Serbia, take all states, boom. The empire grows. Okay, now you guys line up against Bulgaria. You guys line up against Romania. I would say Albania, but you guys are protected and guaranteed by... Yeah, by Italy. How long's until uh, Musso turns that around and says no, actually? Well, he hasn't decided. Claims on Serbia. Well, <laughs> uh, you got nothing on Serbia anymore, pal. Serbia don't exist. Uh, yeah, you guys come up here to limited because I'm going to need troop numbers. There we go. 719k. That's okay. Unemployment measures. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, invasion of Serbia. We've already done that, though, haven't we? Okay. Okay. Right. Come back down. Economic corporization. There we go. Uh, America. Give me. Uh, Soviet Union. Give me. And uh, I think that's everything. Yeah. Uh, how are we doing? Right. So this is all slowed down, but it just means I need to produce more civvies. I uh, also want to sort this out, actually. Two of them. Three of them. Two, three. There we go. That's super. I, 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 everything has to be a six. If it's not a six, it's not a good standard. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm actually going to, with this series, instead of doing half-hour episodes, because it is a very small mod, it's basically vanilla anyway, I'm actually going to turn these into 20-minute episodes. Tell me if... Oh, God. Hungarian people make a real outside. Hungarians outside. Oh, God. We were warned. Oh, we were warned. What what are they packing? And it's Miklos again. Oh, no. Right, okay, right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you like 20-minute sessions better than half-hour sessions? Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Uh, we can work together. Uh, so, you go like that, actually, really quick before I actually end the episode. And you guys go like that. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Ah! No, what the, what, no, stop. There, that's better, oh god, okay. So anyway guys, that's where I'm going to end the first episode, so thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed again, don't forget to of course click that like button and or subscribe. Uh, I've been Anglo, you've been you, and this has been the Osterreich Phoenix Rising uh, mod. So yeah, thanks for watching, I've been Anglo, and have a good one. Laters! <laughs>